hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm gonna show you how we can interface a seven segment cathode module with a pic 16 fa 77 a microcontroller so let's get started this is our pic 16 fa 77 a microcontroller a dip vineyard having 40 pins so and this is the seven segment cathode i'm talking about it usually has 10 pins it's a single digit cathode seven segment so let me show you how we wire it up with a PIC 16FA77A for programming with micro C for PIC. So it has like 10 pins. The center one, like third pin on the top from left to right and third pin on the bottom. It's a COM pin, common pin. The pin next to the COM pin on the top side, if you hold it like this, is the A pin. If you power it up and you give ground to the common and you give 5 volt to A, then this LED on the top will turn on and this one is the B pin if you power up this B pin while giving ground to the com this LED will turn on and this is the C and its pin is in at the bottom next to the com pin if you give power ground to the com and power 5 volt to the C it this LED that is the C1 will turn on now D for D this LED on the D will turn on if you power it up similarly this is E and the pin is the bottom leftmost pin this is our E pin and on the top left of the COM pin and the pin next to the left extreme left pin is the F pin if you give ground to the COM and 5 volt to this pin this F LED will turn on now the last one is the G and it is in the center and the top left pin is for G if you give 5 volt to this pin while giving ground to the common then it will turn on now to interface this with the PIC 16 fh 77 all you need to turn on these LEDs is to give 5 volts. So for that you can use any source of microcontroller. I am using a PIC 16 fh 77 a and you can use any available digital input output pin or any ADC pin turned to digital pin for this purpose. I am going to use the port B for this. So guys let's get started with the wiring. So and this last one is the DP. DP is the dot pit point and its pin is the right bottom pin bottom right pin is a DP pin if you give 5 volt to this pin while giving ground to the com then the dot will turn on now let's get to our wiring so I connect a pin with a B0 I'm gonna use the port B for this so B0 when B0 gives one our LED at the top that is a LED will turn on and B1 is the B similarly for the C I am using B2 for D I am using B3 for E I am using B4 for F I am using B5 for G I am using B6 and last but not the least I am using DP that is a dot dot pin with a B7 in this way a complete port 8 pins are being utilized of the port B and our cathode is connected now now guys what I'm going gonna do in the programming is that I'm gonna run a counter from 0 to 9 from 0 to 9 it will show it on the screen you can also use alphabets for this but in this demonstration I will run the counter so let's get to our micro C for pick programming so guys this is our micro C for pick let me zoom it in okay go to file file new new project click on next write the name of the project I'm gonna write seven segment LM learning microcontrollers and the microcontroller I'm using is a PIC 16 fa 77 a and crystal is 20 megahertz and click on next 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 and finish in this we are not using any LCD anything like that first of all all you need is to initialize the port B trace B is equals to 0 into 0 0 port B is initialized as an output port and also give the initial state to the port B that initially all the pins of the port B should be off so write port B is equal to 0 into 0 0 initially all the pins of the port B will be off now we go to our forever loop like this now guys as shown in the presentation we do know which pin correspond to which LED but to make combinations all we need is to click here this seven segment editor in the tools you have this here this is called seven segment editor it is available in all the micro C for pick variants so click on it 
now you get this you get this here you make your combination whatever you want to draw on the screen now you do your like I want to move these and I want to display a zero on the screen so you select whatever you want to turn on so like this here you got a digit here see on the right it gives you two options hex or decimal I'm gonna use a decimal so 63 is the for common cathode and 192 is for the common node we are using a common cathode so you copy this and you write down port B is equals to 63 this will display a zero there this is very simple otherwise you have to like for 500 millisecond a zero will be displayed on the screen now the next one we want to display one like we are making a counter it will keep on going from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then it will keep on repeating so next one is one so you draw one here so for that zoom it out we don't need this for one we only need either this or this so this is one for this it says the digit it gave is six so you copy it you copy this first and you make it six okay now this will display zero write it down zero one now next one is copy paste it we want to display a two so for two make a two here using this tool small tool very small and effective tool you make it a two here two looks like this so this is a two so for that it says you will need to send 91 on the common cathode to the port b so you write 91 here now it is two now we need a three zero one two now we go for the three here we go our three for three do the same make a three here okay remove all this you need three three looks like this so make a decimal sorry now it gives us 79 you copy it and you paste it here now it's 79 and it's our three now we need a four you copy paste this again so this is our four for four you make a four here and you will get a 4 when you will run the code here 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 and here for it says it's 102 so you copy it for the common cathode so 102 will be 4 now we need 5 so we need a 5 so you draw 5 here on this small display and 5 we all know looks like this this and this this is our 5 it is 109 let me zoom it in see it's 109 so this is our 5 now for 6 we do is that we make a 6 here simple and 6 is easy to make just turn it on it is our 6 it is 125 so you make it 125 and this is for 6 now for 7 you go back and you write 7 and you write you remove all this and we need only this and this this is our 7 and on the common cathode it says you need to write 7 for 7 oh that's wonderful that for 7 we need just 7 then after 7 we are gonna need this 8 that's 127 so for 7 we need 7 and okay that's great now for 8 for 8 we make a 8 here so let me sorry zoom it in 
it says 127 is for 8 so it's our 8 now we need to write 9 so for 9 make a 9 here so this is our 9 103 is for 9 so you copy paste it here so guys wh what it's gonna do is that it will display 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 then it will go back so let's give it a try let me introduce you to the hardware so this is our hardware guys here let me zoom it out this is our seven segment cathode as you can see here it is wired up on the pic 16 fa 7 a as shown in the presentation so let me connect the picket 3 burner with this so we can get started with the programming okay picket 3 is connected let me delete the previous code and initialize our new code so let's see what happens so you turn on this picket 3 programming software before you continue let it turn on here we go you select your microcontroller that is pic 16 fa 7 a let me zoom it in from this bar pic 16 f8 double seven a here it is now you select the code you want to burn import hex file this is a code we just wrote click on write okay the new code is being written as you can see this is blinking because b7 pin is and b6 pin are with the connected with the programmer so we are using the port b that is why it is blinking now the new code is burned we give give it on turn it on now see it is following our code as you can see let me focus see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 see now let me do a thing this is No, this is not the code we just wrote this is the previous code i was writing in in the morning so the new code is being written it also has a zero sorry for the inconvenience see it is writing the new code now our current code that is seven segment lm dot hex see zero one two three four five six seven eight nine see our program is working exactly as needed guys so in this way you can make any combination here you can make it a like this and you will simply copy paste this and you will it will display a a to display b you need this and if you display a b if you want a d you can do it, go with this this will display a d for a c you can also display alphabets as well as you like so guys let me give you a demonstration now for c now this is a c we are going to display a c so copy paste this it says write 57 so I write a 57 here now I will update the code and it will display a C see now let's build this and demonstrate to you that it works click on write okay the new code is being written we had just added a C after 9 it will also display a C so let's see what happens see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and a C see so guys I hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day